In this video, I'm going to be testing the most popular AI writers with this new AI detection tool called Originality.ai, and we're throwing everything at it. We're going to be putting content from Jasper, Neuron Writer, Word Hero, Phrase, as well as ChatGPT, which is taking the world by storm right now. And you'll be surprised at the results that ChatGPT gets once we take that content and throw it into this AI detection tool. And if you stay tuned at the, all the way at the end of this video, I'm going to show you a tool that you can use that can even full AI detection tools, all right? So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. So here we are on originality.ai's website. As you can see, it's a plagiarism checker and AI detector built for serious content publishers. Now this is a paid tool. It, as you can see right here, it is one cents per credit. So one credit scans about a hundred words. So if you had a thousand word article, you would end up spending about a dime in order to have it checked for plagiarism as well as AI detection, which actually isn't too, too bad. So let's go ahead and log straight in um, I'll be sure to leave a link to originality.ai in the description as well, because it actually is a decent tool to use. And even if it's not 100% accurate all the time, it at least gives you a little bit of direction on how you can uh, go from the topics that you're putting into the tool itself. So at the top right hand corner, you just click on uh, the content scan, and we're going to go ahead and paste in some content. So first of all, let's start off with Neuron Writer. So now Neuron Writer is one of my favorite tools that I've been using for quite a while now in terms of optimizing my my uh, content using NLP or natural language processing. But it also has an AI component built in as well that you can use to help you write content. So I went ahead and took the liberty of just going in and creating some content right here. We're going to copy this content and then we're gonna jump over to originality.ai punch it in. We're going to detect for AI as well as the plagiarism checker. It says this scan will cost you two credits, so only two cents. And let's go ahead and click on scan now. All right. And based on our detection score here, you can see 10% original, 90% AI, which basically means that 90% of this content is AI. And if you think about it, if you put in content like this on the internet and you're worried that Google can detect it and figure out whether or not it's actual AI content, if a tool like originality.ai can, for sure, Google will be able to as well. Um, it was able to pass the plagiarism check, but typically with AI content, it's gonna always uh, pass the plagiarism check because it creates unique content every single time. So that's Neuron Writer creating the content there. Now, this doesn't mean that you couldn't go into this content, add your own voice to it, add a couple of different things to make it a little bit more original, and then dropping it into originality.ai to be able to get a better uh, detection score. Is at least 90% original, 10% AI, or something like that. Uh, usually when I write content online, I might use AI to create a, an opening paragraph or a closing paragraph, or maybe rewrite a sentence or two or something of that nature. But that's Neuron Writer, so take that for what it's worth. Now, let's go ahead and jump to to one of the more popular ones, Jasper. Now, Jasper is one that is taking the world by storm as well in terms of AI content. So this is something that I was able to generate about how uh, recurring income can be such a good part of your business if that's what you're working on. So uh, recurring income, so I went ahead and copied this content and let's go and drop it in to originality.ai and we're gonna click scan now. It's going to take two credits as well and we'll see what it comes up with. Okay, and our AI detection score, as you can see here, 1% original, 99% AI. So that's Jasper right there. It's even worse than what Neuron was putting in. Um, it was able to tell 100, almost 100% 100 that uh, this was completely generated um, artificial intelligence type writing. So uh, again, what I would do is just take this content and you can't just take it straight out of what these tools are giving you. You gotta mix it up. You gotta change it up, put in some of your content so that you can get a better experience of what's already in there already and just make it more personal. Another favorite of mine is going to be Writer Zen. Writer Zen is was on AppSumo a while ago. It's now gone. And if you didn't get it, I feel for you because this is an incredible tool. Um, I'll be sure to leave links down in the description for all of these tools as well. But with Neuron Writer, you can click on the little button down here, the AI assistant, and you can create some content um, based on what you've put in. Uh, if it's an introduction paragraph, a sentence or two, or if you needed to write, you know, half the article, you can do that and it all uses the GTP3. So let's go ahead and copy this content and we're going to be dropping it into originality.ai as well and seeing what we come up with. And here from Writer's End, you can see 100% AI. So it didn't, it wasn't fooled even the least bit with uh, what the Writer's End had 
to throw out there. Um, one thing I'm noticing is with a lot of these tools, uh, they're just taking from GPT-3 and then just generating their own content. Um, a lot of these tools are good at certain things. They might be good at SEO optimization. They might be good at um, helping you write your content online. The one thing that they may not be good at is creating you know, original AI content like some of the better AI writing tools out there can do. So uh, this right here, 100% AI when we were doing Writer Zen, you know, a pretty good uh, feather in the cap of originality.ai to be able to detect that. Now, one of my favorites is Phrase. Phrase I use for mainly for SEO optimization. We're gonna go ahead and copy this paragraph and we're going to drop it into originality.ai and see what it has for us there. All right, so Phrase also came back, 99% AI content. Um, so far, I think the originality.ai is working decently well, even though it is still in beta, but 1% um, original, 99% AI, that is something that you, you'd you wanna keep in mind, because again, if, Google, if, if originality.ai can tell that this is AI uh, content as soon as we put the content in there, chances are Google can do that as well and take that for what it's worth. Um, now, remember to stay tuned to the very end because we will be going over another tool that you can use where you can take some of this content, run it through it, and then it come back out the other side as actual uh, um, original content versus it being flagged as AI. So the next one is gonna be one of my favorites and that is Word Hero. Now Word Hero, is another great um, AI writing tool that is out there. Let's, I had this, these results about how often should you wash your car, and it gave me a couple of paragraphs. Let's go ahead into originality.ai. Let's click on new. We're gonna drop the content in here. It's gonna cost us two cents to run this, and let's click on scan now. Now, this is really cool. Now, Word Hero, which is, again, one of my favorite AI writing tools out there, came out as 97% original and in 3% AI. Now, take that for what it's worth, because we know that the content that came out of this is 100% AI written content. But for whatever reason, it was able to get 97% originality score um, out of the originality.ai tool. So take that for what it's worth. Is that originality.ai that's fault that's faulty or is Word Hero just that good? Because so far it's been able to beat out the, the likes of Jasper, Neuron Writer, uh, Writer Zen, as well as Phrase. Now, the one we've all been waiting for, let's go ahead and jump into Chat GPT. This is another question I asked it. How often should you wash your car and it gave us you know a decent pair a decent um article here it's four paragraphs let's go ahead and take it we're going to drop it into our detection tool and let's see just how good chat gpt was able to uh take this content and see if it is original or ai generated all right so that's chat gpt you can see here one percent original 99 percent ai and this is actually the first one that actually threw black threw back a plagiarism uh issue 10 percent here this is the percent of your content that contains plagiarism, refer to the table below to view the specific website we found plagiarism on. How often should you be washing your hair? Okay, so obviously these articles are two different ones. The one that I wrote for um, or had created with ChatGPT was how to wash your car, yet chat yet originality.ai says that we took content from this other one how often should you be washing your hair so even though it's 10 percent, chances are there's just a little bit of um copying from you know just referring to washing something since one article has to do with hair and another article has to do with a car i probably wouldn't be too worried about what the issue is there i'm going to click and view just to see how often should you be washing your hair so this is the article itself, and this is the paragraph I believe it's saying is the issue, but you know, I'm not gonna be worried too much about it because again, these are two completely different articles um, that have to do with two different things. So that is uh, what ChatGPT threw in. Again, 99% AI, uh, something to be concerned with, I would believe that you can't just be taking these tools for face value. Now here's the part we've all been waiting for. I wanted to show you this amazing tool that can actually take content that uh, was AI generated and then rewrite it using a tool called Quillbot. Now Quillbot, it just simply what it does does is it rewrites and rephrases content that you throw into it. So it kind of breaks the algorithm or a uh, uh, mathematical equation that these AI tools are using to create their content by just replacing the words within that content with other words. So it spins the content. It kind of takes what AI gives it and then it spins it to something that sometimes can make you sound a little bit smarter because it makes you sound like you have a bit of a bigger vocabulary or whatever. So I took the content from, I think it was Jasper. So we took 
at this, I love having recurring income. When we threw this into originality.ai before, it gave us around a 99 or so percent uh, original content or whatever. It was all AI, right? It, it was all just AI content. So I took it, I put it through Quillbot, and now instead of saying, you know, I love having recurring income, it's such a great feeling. It now says having recurrent income is a is wonderful, knowing that you can work on a beach, yada, yada, yada. So we're gonna take this content, gonna copy it, throw it into originality.ai, and we're gonna see exactly how it takes the spun content from Quillbot and what kind of result it's going to give us. And as you can see here, it came out 92% AI detection score, which is, pretty crazy you know so depending on how much you would trust a tool like originality.ai you can take the content that almost any of these tools have been creating that we've talked about so far throw them into quillbot have it rephrase it have it rewrite it it breaks that algorithm or predictive text that ai tools use and then can make it look 100 percent, almost 100 percent original 92 percent versus eight percent ai that's a huge huge difference so if you can run content through quillbot you have a much better shot at being able to pass tools like this and you might have a better shot at getting your articles to rank if you're going to be using these tools online. Now, pretty much all the AI writers that we use so far all fail the AI detection score within originality.ai unless we ran them through Quillbot, especially ChatGPT. It got 100% plus it got flagged for some type of plagiarism. But there is some really good uses that you can have with ChatGPT and you need to use it before they decide to start charging for it and take it down because it, this is just a free research preview that OpenAI is doing for us right now that we can continue to use as it's collecting data. If you want to learn some of the great uses that you can use with ChatGPT and still be able to use it you know, ethically and morally, be sure to go check out the video right here and I'll catch you there.